Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. So a lot of people want to know uh, about Bixby and how to disable it. Now I was one of the first people that stepped out there and said, hey, I'm turning this off as soon as I get the phone. So here's the phone and I'm gonna show you how to disable Bixby. Now they have actually, now if I press my Bixby button, there's nothing happening. It's because I've already got it disabled. No functionality from Bixby, Bixby nowhere on this device. I'm hoping that'll probably help with battery life too because right now from what I'm seeing, eh, battery life's definitely questionable. However, Bixby is a setting that's baked into the phone and there's nothing you can do about it to get rid of it. Um, but I've got mine disabled. So here's what you do. Head into the app store and purchase. It's only gonna cost you a dollar and 50 cents uh, and it's called Samsung Package Disabler. Uh, so if you already have this, I'll tell you uh, how, I'll show you what you need to um, I purchased it already and it's already installed, but this is what it is. It lets you turn off any kind of bloatware or just anything on the phone. You can do, you can disable carrier stuff and everything, but Bixby has its own personal settings baked into Samsung's touch with now. So um, let me show you how to do it. Well, I guess I could have opened it from there, right? So when you open it up, there's gonna be four things you'll need to uh, disable to shut Bixby completely off. So this is what it's gonna look like when you purchase this and go into it. Just be careful about what you're clicking on because you could really, really mess something up. So what you wanna do is basically find everything that's related to Bixby. And here they are right here. You've got Bixby itself, Bixby Global Action, Bixby Services, Bixby Vision, Bixby Dummy. All of the Bixby stuff should be gone. No more Bixby stuff. You wanna make sure it's all disabled. There might be some more comms down, comms down here that I didn't disable. Because sometimes when you turn off something in here, it can mess up something else. But it looks like Bixby is just a separate application baked into the OS. So you can actually disable it. Now I've had mine disabled already, but that is what you do. So you go in and find everything, those four things related to Bixby or five. So there's five things related to Bixby. You go in and you check all of those boxes right there that's related to Bixby and then you back out of it. Back out of it, and then I suggest that you reboot your phone. And when you reboot your phone, um, you're going to let it idle, let everything set up. As you can see, I have Bixby completely disabled over here too. That's another thing you have to do. First disable that, and then um, go in and, and then disable Bixby the way I just showed you. But as you can see here, it's actually turned off, and, I don't, and, and nothing's happening with the motion, see? So Bixby's gone from my device. That is probably one of the best purchases that I've made since having a Samsung device. So Samsung, um, the Samsung package disabler lets you disable anything. This will be the best dollar and 50 that you spend if you have a Samsung device. That's what, that's, that's what it is. A dollar and 50 cents right now. Now when I got it, I don't know what it costs. I don't remember. I don't remember what it costs. But if you have a Samsung Galaxy S8 and you want to get rid of Bixby, if you press Bixby on yours, it's probably going to pop up Bixby no matter what you do. Now, even though I went over here initially and turned this off right here, um, I, I went into, like I just showed you, Pax Disabler, and it's completely gone. So that's a real quick tips and tricks video for you on how to disable Bixby. You will thank yourself over and over again for doing that. Trust me. It's your man, Jay Will. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.